Hey guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter three, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started on number two. So you have the option of writing these out. You should know your place values by now, okay? However, you can also write it like this, which of course makes it easy for us. So on here, it just wants to know the value of that number. So you can write three tenths or you can write 0.3. It only wants to know the value of that number, okay? So on this one, it's a little bit more tricky because the four is the one that's underlined and it's all the way, sorry guys, and it's all the way at the end, which means after the decimal, so we don't have to worry about the two, but after the decimal, we need one, two placeholders, and then the four. It's the four thousandths, okay? So, point one, it's right after the decimal. Don't have to worry about a placeholder zero. All the way at the end, placeholder zeros. Okay, one from the decimal, placeholder zero. Okay, so all of these numbers right here, okay, they all need to become zeros. Okay, that one, those ones already are, but that's okay. All right, you guys do seven, eight, and nine. We are going to come down and we're going to go ahead and write these numbers in two other forms. So the first is in words 326, and that's in the thousandths place. Thousandths, okay? The other one is 0.3 plus zero, oh, sorry, 0 0.02 plus 0 0.006, okay? We have 0 0.3, 0 0.02, 0 0.006, okay? So just like up here, you're filling in placeholder zeros for those numbers when you're adding them up, okay? You guys are going to do 11, 12, and 13. You totally can. Remember that you have the tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Okay? Anything after the decimal ends in THS. Okay? All right. In a gymnastics competition, Paige's score was 37.025. What is Paige's score written in word form? So, goodness, they didn't give you very much room for this one. 37 and 25 and that's in the thousandth place wherever it ends is the place that you name last okay so the five is in the thousandth place we say thousandth last okay 37 and 25,000. Okay. Jake's batting average for softball season is 0 0.368. What is Jake's batting average written in expanded form? So first we're going to have 0 0.3. We're going to add to that 0 0.06. That's our next one. We're going to add to that 0 0.008. Done. Okay. All right, guys, you guys are going to do the lesson check on the back. You totally can. I believe in you. And we're going to go ahead and do the spiral review. Okay? So, spiral review says each car on a commuter train seat, sorry, each car on a commuter train can seat 114 passengers. If the train has seven cars, how many passengers can the train seat? So, 114, seven cars. Let's do some math. Seven times four is 28. Carry our two. Seven times one is seven, plus two more is nine, and seven times one, seven. 798 passengers. Let's say passengers. I was going to put people, but they're using passengers. All right, guys, I am going to right here write Tim Das, and you guys are going to know what that means. Okay, so. What we're going to do first is our parentheses, okay? So I'm going to rewrite 
the rest of the problem because that's not going to disappear just because I do the parentheses, okay? So 9 plus 15, well, I know that that's 24, okay? So now I've done my parentheses. I don't have any exponents. Multiplication and division, I've got that right here, okay? So I'm going to rewrite plus 2 because that's not going to disappear just because I know that 24 divided by 3 is 8, okay? So now, general multiplication and division, addition, subtraction, I have addition, okay? 8 plus 2, 10, okay? All right, Danica has 15 stickers. She gives 3 to one friend and gets 4 from another friend. What expression would match the word? Well, she starts with 15 stickers. She gives away three, but then she gets four. That's it. Super easy, guys. Don't make it harder than it's got to be. There are 138 people seated in tables in the banquet hall. Each table can seat 12 people. All the tables are full except for one. How many full tables are there? So, okay. So 12 is not going to go into 1, placeholder. 12 will go into 13 once. 1 times 12 is 12. Subtract, get 1. Okay. 1 is definitely smaller than 12, so we can bring down our 8. And 12 is going to go into 18 one time. 1 times 12 is 12. Subtract, we get 6. So 11, because this is our remainder, this is how many people are left over, 11 full tables. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 3.2. Come on back for 3.3. See you soon.